So hopefully you remember from the last video, oops, let me erase this, that a decimal was just a fraction out of 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. So in order to talk about de treating decimals as fractions, we have to think about place value system. And you guys probably remember from, hopefully you remember from an earlier grade that if you had a number, here's the decimal point, by the way, right over here. So we're just going to look to the left of the decimal point, which are going to be the numbers bigger than 1. So if I have a number like this, 3, 7, 0, 2, that means three thousands, seven hundreds, zero tens, two ones. And I would read this as three thousand, seven hundred, and two, or seven hundred two. Okay, so that's place value. And then place value works the same way in the decimal land. So after the decimal point, you have one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth, and one ten thousandth. So I would read this number, so that's 0 0.3, I could write 0 0.3, zero ones, three tenths. So that number right there is three tenths. If I were to write, put a zero here, then the four is in the hundredths place, that's the hundredths place, that would be four hundredths. So I would write that as four hundredths. I would write that fraction as four hundredths. Okay. Um, if I combine them, I would look for the last place value. So if I wrote, say, 0 0.32, my last place value is the hundredths place. I would write that as 32 hundredths. So that fraction, 0 0.32, or just 0 0.32, is the same as 32 hundredths. So this is changing the decimal into the fraction. Then I could reduce the fraction, right? I could divide by 4 over 4, right? I get 8 over 25. So 0 0.32 is 32 hundredths, which is the same as 8 over 25. Okay, And, you know, you just have to, you know, it's always, you might want to sort of set up a place value system, but you do have to remember tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million, ten million, hundred million, just the same way it goes, ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, etc. Um, so a number like this, let's see, zero, zero, two, seven, would be written as 20, so, so point zero, zero, two, seven, would be written as 27, and my last decimal place is here, so 27 ten thousandths, which actually can't be reduced. That's in simplest form. If that were a 5, I, oops, if that were a 5, I could reduce it, right? Then it would be 25 ten thousandths, or 5, and I would divide by, actually I could divide by 25 or 20, over 25, and that would be the same thing as 1 over, and I'm not going to try to do that in my head, um, at 1 over uh, 400. 1 over 400. I did it in my head. 1 over 400. I hope that's right. Um, so the basic idea is you f if you're going to change a decimal into a fraction, you figure out the place value, you write it as a fraction over 10, 100, 1,000, and then if you can, you can reduce it and work with it that way. That's if the, f so these are all decimals that terminate, they end. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about repeating decimals as well.